May the Lord bless and keep you. You may say to me, Kevin, sometimes people only contact me when they want something, as in they want money, they want food, they want something tangible, or they want my help in some type of way. And you may say, since that is the case, should I be willing to help them out? And my answer is yes. Even if you feel like people are using you, so be it. Aren't we going to reap whatever we sow? Aren't blessings going to come our way when we choose to help others, whether they appreciate it or not, it really doesn't matter. So in so many words, and you may not agree to this because you may have some pride, in so many words, listen closely, you have to be somewhat of a doormat. Somewhat of a doormat. Yes, that person may believe that they are gaining an advantage upon you, but in truth, that person is losing because that person is going to reap whatever they sow. When you choose to help people, especially your enemies, you are gaining. Yes, you may feel like you are losing because you are not looking at the entire picture. You are only looking at a certain segment of the picture. So your perception is off. So don't be upset when you are used. Wasn't Jesus Christ used? If Jesus Christ did not do the things that he could do, do you believe that they would have called upon him as much as they did? No. We are on this earth to be servants not only servants to God, but servants unto people. If you can't serve people, if you look really deep down inside of you, there is some pride. <laughs> and being prideful is sinful. That is a sin. So humble yourself, lower yourself, and serve. Some people just want to be these top people, want to be preachers, pastors, bishops, and stuff like that, and they want to be served. No. The higher you raise in God, the lower you have to be. The higher you get in God, the more of a servant you have to become. So if you want to be a great woman or man of God, the more you have to serve. But how things are now, it is the opposite, and that is wrong. So want to be, you should want to be more of a servant, serving people. Don't look for anything back. For instance, this person asked me, what do I want for Christmas? And I was thinking, I don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> but this person was asking me, what do I want from him? And I was thinking, <laughs> nothing really. This person wanted to give me something because 
I constantly help that person. But what that person doesn't know, I am not helping that person because of him. I am helping him because this is what God wants us to do. And I am not saying that I am this great, awesome person that, no, I am not looking for any praise. I am not looking for any honor. I just want to please God. So when this person was asking me, what do I want from him? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Because I am not helping him for the sake of helping him. I am helping him because I want to be a servant. Yes, there may be some things I don't want to do, but overall, I am learning more and more to help people and to be there for people. This is how we have to be. Not looking for something every time when we do something for people. That is wrong. Well, since I worked for you I, or I helped you for six hours, you should give me at least $80 or $100. No, that is wrong. Now, if something is agreed upon in the beginning, that is different. But you should offer yourself, which I am learning more of, you need to offer yourself, if possible, for people. Stop looking for something back. When I do things for people, unless that person says to me, hey, Kevin, I am going to pay you back. When I do things for people, I don't look for anything back. I don't. I look for my rewards from God. This is the way that you have to be as well. It is not about what is fair and what is not fair, no. It is about doing what you have to to make things work. Doing what you have to to make things work. Yes, I may get the short end of the stick maybe for a while, but I know every so often I may get the high end of the stick. It is all about compromise. It is all about serving people. Stop thinking what is fair and what is not fair. That doesn't matter. God is going to short, sort those things out. God is going to repay and punish the way that he sees fit. You have to aim to please. I am not saying that you have to do anything sinful for anyone. But what I am saying is to aim to please. If your mindset is that way, you are not worried about what is fair and what is not fair. Whatever. So I pray that this makes sense. Contemplate on these things. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, Make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.